I didn't been to the crazy house. You feel me? Multiple wow. times. Like, like people, a lot of well, people. Well, that's not called the crazy house, man. Let's go call it like a, a a correction or something, man. Or, or, <laughs> a correction, or, or, you know, Chris. You know what I'm saying? Something, man. Give it another name. Oh. I think we we I think we grew up on that 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 term crazy, and that kind of turns people off on trying to get help. You know what I mean? Because we're gonna we're gonna run down this road of mental health real quick with you. You know what I'm saying? So I think one time, we, or I guess when we say crazy, we just put the bad label on it. So when people do have mental struggles, they don't want to speak out because they feel like, oh, I gotta go to the crazy house. And people want to make fun of you. So when when you saying you were struggling, what were some of the things that you did to kind of help you get out that dark, that dark, uh, the dark moments and stuff like that? What were some of the things you were doing? Bro, honestly, time, cause like literally, shit got to just pass and blow over, bro. On some real shit, but now, nah, like I used to, like on some, I was I was a different type of nigga. Like I mean, even now, bro, I still have my moments where I feel like nigga, I want to knock some shit down, like really take niggas out. You feel me? But. It's just like, bro, I got so much that I want to do, bro. Like, that's the bigger picture. I think yeah. about that, bro. I think about all the shit that I haven't accomplished that I really, really want to. You feel me? Yeah. And, like, I express the whole mental shit, and I share that all the time with people. Because when I share, like, on Instagram and shit, like, it be so many people that reach out to me in my DMs, bro. Like, damn, like, cause I be going through the same shit, like. And I feel you, bro. Like, niggas never guess. Because, like, everybody know me for being a cool nigga and a tattoo nigga and paintings and clothes and all this on some cool shit, like smiles and joking. But people that really know me, like, really know the shit that I've been through, bro. Like, that that put a dent in my heart for real. Like, a whole lot of shit. Yeah, bro. So, if somebody, if you're somebody that's struggling and that you feel like they're in a that dark place, like, what do you suggest that they do, like, to help get them out that spot? Because I know you said time passes, but is there any suggestion that you might have? Because somebody could be struggling right now that might be listening to this, you know what I mean, and saying, like, man, like, I need help. Like, would you go to somebody, you go to a friend, a family member, or do you just kind of, like, steady yourself? Because I know different people handle it different ways. Some people might want to isolate themselves. Some people might want to be around somebody else. So if they're in that dark place, what's some of the suggestions you think they should kind of do to kind of help them get beyond that? Honestly, bro. You really can't even depend on nobody because nine times out of ten, or I ain't gonna like nigga, nine point nine times out of ten, you don't have nobody to talk to. You don't got nobody to run to, nothing. You feel me? Like me personally, bro, I got a big family, fake weight. Got a fake weight, big family, but I ain't got too many people I can run to, you feel me? And if I do, it's been times I was going through something, I called motherfuckers, niggas not answering, not messaging me back, all type of shit. So now I'm really on edge, like, damn, niggas really not fucking with me, you feel me? I don't even call niggas for nothing, ever, like, you feel me? And the one yeah. time I do, niggas don't even, you feel me, reach out or nothing. What I could say, like, shit, I don't know, bro, niggas just gotta be strong, bro. Niggas gotta be strong, bro, that's all. Like, they gotta find something that can take their mind off of it. And honestly, on some real shit, worst kind of words, nigga, DM me, you feel me? If you don't know me, if you do got my line, hit me up. If you, yeah, if you, you don't know me, DM me. I don't give a fuck what stranger here it is. Nigga, DM me, man. If, if y'all going through some mental shit, bro, we could work something out. I could give you some advice, something. You feel me? Talk to, talk you out of a situation, anything. Because I done yeah. been there. I done done that, cuz. I done been there plenty of times. Got to have somebody to talk to, man. I think that's one of the things that we we don't we kind of overlook is that mental health, especially our community. We always think it's a bad thing for, you know, have mental health, and you kind of keep it to yourself, and you try to keep getting those, going through those situations. You keep going through those those dark moments, and it just kind of take a toll on you to the point where you just don't know what to do. You don't know who to talk to and stuff like that. So that I appreciate saying, you. Bro. I appreciate you kind of sharing that and talking about that, man, because, like I said, man, we really don't – our community don't talk about it. You know what I mean? We think it's At weak, all, bro. We think it's, weak, we sh we think it's a show of weakness when somebody talking about, man, you know, I'm struggling mentally. Like, what do you mean you're struggling mentally, bro? Like, toughen up, you know what I'm saying? We come right. from the area, you need to toughen up. But for you and to kind of share that, that I appreciate that. And fuck, it's okay to cry, bro. Honestly, that shit is Get it out okay sometimes. Get you a good cry, out. man. Get you a good Bro, man. that shit is okay to let it out because it's going to feel good after the fact. You feel me? Just get that shit out real quick. Yeah, bro. So, man, I know we come down to the end. I want to kind of, I want you to kind of lead us out, you know, give some inspiration to, you know, somebody who could be looking up to you or somebody who's, you know, admiring your 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 journey and things like that. We're giving them some inspiration at this moment. Man, honestly, bro, what I could say, it's really possible for sure. Anything like could I look at I look at it like, bro, I didn't been through so much shit. If if I got if I'm where I'm at now, anybody could do it, bro. I'm talking about nigga, I was sleeping in my car three years ago. You feel me? 
like nigga doing bad, trying to figure it out. And I kept hustling. Don't give up. The show don't give up. Keep pushing. Don't give a fuck. Like, don't listen to what people are saying and don't let nobody motherfucking make you feel like you can't do it because you can. Like, I did it, bro. Like, I try to tell people, like, live through my mistakes and, and learn from me. You feel me? I made the mistakes for you. Like, I made, like, you feel me? I did a lot of shit, bro. Did a lot of motherfucking shit, bro. Learn from my motherfucking mistakes and you can motherfucking do it because I did it. That's how I look at it, bro. And live right. For real. Treat people right. Live right. Nigga, if you made a mistake, apologize about it. Make that shit right. The whole nine. That's what it is, man. Betting on yourself. Investing yourself. Living right. Living healthy. I know you be on your healthy kick. I know you be working out, doing your thing, man. So, 